Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 you read the title I'm super super excited for this been itching to get my hands on this for ages well that's not entirely true um, because it took like five days to come it's the Sinclair uh, ZX Vega for so those who don't know oh shit just checking my address isn't on that side of the box for those of you who don't know pretty sure everyone does is a well it's not portable but you know it's a um, it's a Sinclair Spectrum gaming console which basically takes the shape well I'll show you that in a minute um, it was started on Indiegogo campaign uh, and you know it more than made its money back uh, and then it was a limited release of a thousand of which I guarantee this isn't but the story behind me getting this is uh, people who follow me on Facebook will know this that I ordered the wrong one I ordered the recreated ZX Spectrum um, because I, I literally knew nothing about you know this existed and just typed it in Amazon and they came up with the recreated ZX Spectrum uh, I got dicked around by their their customer service. Not Amazon, they were very good, but people who were supposed to supply it to Amazon kept pushing back the date and moving it forward. And after three attempts, I'm like, look, you haven't got the product ready, yeah? Don't advertise it. That's one of my biggest fucking pet peeves when people do that. But that was basically, um, I'm glad I cancelled it now because this is the one I really wanted. Uh, a recreated Spectrum keyboard, the idea being that it was all about playing on, you know, like the original keyboard. But then looking a bit more into it, um, it was basically a Bluetooth keyboard. I mean, yeah, it looked very, very nice. Don't get me wrong, it was very difficult to tell the difference between it and an original 48K rubber mat Spectrum. But, I'm sorry, a recreated Spectrum is not a Bluetooth keyboard. So I guess you could argue that the difference between... Yeah, because you actually use an app, by the way, on your Android phone to either connect it to the TV or stuff like that. And this app was how you played the games or used Basic, but there weren't actually that many games. And since the thing was completely independent, had no slots or anything like that other than the power, um, how would you supposed to use ROMs yourself? So, God, I cancelled it. But the way I would describe it is it looks like a Spectrum, um, but isn't. Whereas this technically is a Spectrum, but doesn't look like one. Anyway, yeah, it came after. So I cancelled that, uh, I think, on Monday, maybe Tuesday, and ordered this. And this showed up today. Um, big problem with the, the, the postman, by the way. Where's the uh, invoice? It's not on there. Um, by the way, don't, if, well, there were people in, so fuck knows, but if it's pissing down with rain and the thing says electronics on the box, don't leave it, because the last time I checked, they say waterproof. But yeah, it was made by Retro Computers. I'll put a link to them in the doohickey down below, or what's that? No, that's the website, because um, you can still order them. And uh, yeah, I like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? Obviously that's the unit itself. It's not the first thousand because it says on the side limited edition second production run. Um, but the box looks like, I mean, Supply approved it. It looks like, a, a, you know, got the rainbow. Looks like the, uh, the Spectrum box back in the day. Trying to get it so there isn't glare. You know, you see, they give me what they did on the back of the box where they show you how to hook it up, but obviously it's the system. Um, it comes preloaded with a thousand ROMs, but it has an SD card. I do like the packaging, by the way. It has an SD card so, you know, you can stick more ROMs on it. Because I think from the videos I've watched, one of the biggest complaints from people was, oh, I don't remember half these ROMs. They're really underwhelming. Well, that's kind of an obsolete complaint if you can just put more on yourself. But a thousand, you know, that's pretty epic to be going on with. Right, this is the way it gets really, really, really cool. Look at that. The manual looks like the old school Spectrum manual, not the one that told you how to program and stuff. It's really, really nicely, you know, and well produced and stuff like that. It tells you how to run it and stuff like that, how you power it. But there's the unit. Look at the unit. Isn't that a thing of beauty? As I said, it's really sturdy packaging. I do really like that, you know. More often than not, you get something like this and it's a flimsy, you know, the system's really nice, but the packaging is flimsy and crap and kind of you know, lets it down, it could get damaged, but that's the unit. I gotta say, I mean, this isn't a bad thing, um, it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. I don't know why I was expecting it to be heavy, essentially, you know, it's a control pad. You've got your D-pad, you've got four buttons here, 
um, which replicate and they do totally feel like it. The rubber keys, the original Spectrum. Um, you've got additional bunch of selections, so you can turn it from PAL to NTSC. I'm basing this purely on the instructions. Uh, and you can map multiple commands to certain keys if you're playing games like Flight Simulators, so you can swap it and therefore get access to more of you know what you would be able to do on a keyboard. Right. Obviously, it runs off USB, so I think the idea being you plug it into your telly, and then you've got, obviously, your compass it. But from what I've heard is it plays a little bit better uh, if you, for some reason, if you plug this straight into a, you know, like a, an additional charging port and then stick it straight to a regular plug socket. But you can hook it up to SCAR. Um, you don't get that in the box. I'm not really worried about that because, obviously, I've got enough of those knocking around, but yeah, I really, really like the look and the feel of the unit. I'm especially really, really, it's got Sinclair at the top, by the way, because I said Clive approved it. Um, I really like the, the way the rubber keys feel. They are absolutely epic source. There's your um, micro uh, or mini SD card on the back for additional things. I'm not sure how to access it because I've never seen any of the menus. So I guess, like I said, it is really, really nice. Not just because obviously I'd go as far as to say I'm a Spectrum fanboy, but yeah, I'm really, really surprised at you know, how nice a looking unit it is. Right, it cost me a hundred quid. People have, um, one of the other complaints I've seen is people have said, oh, that's a bit pricey. You could actually buy a real Spectrum with that. Well, yeah, playing on the original hardware is nice. Again, touching upon what I said about the uh, um, recreated Bluetooth Spectrum. But for sheer convenience, in fact, they, the games load instantly because, you know what? I, I mean, I've got a, a ROM uh, emulator, sorry, on my Wii. And uh, while it's a nice nod back to back in the day, and certainly does remind you of your childhood, having to wait for a game to load in real time fucking, you know, we've moved past that, shall I say. Maybe probably because we were spoiled after this period back in the day with cartridges. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm not going to show you hooking up to the TV because I'm pretty sure it's bog standard and simple and obvious, but I'm going to show you some of the menus. So, back in a bit. So I've got it plugged into a USB charger in my power unit. It's going into composites, uh, albeit via a SCAR um, adapter in the back of my telly. It is an HD TV. I did hear that you know some people have issues with it and you might have to go and change the scan lines or something, but I think it looks absolutely fine. Now, I didn't read any of the instructions because as I said, you've got four buttons, bottom right hand corner, one is menu, um, a, B, C, which is you have to configure controls with. And then you've got home in the middle, uh, and this is the screen it starts on. Now, immediately, uh, yeah, oh, no, back to school. Um, it is funny because I haven't heard a lot of these games, right? But let's go on something nice and colourful. Let's go on to back of school and just go and press F, which I'm assuming stands for fire. Ooh, secondary controls could be complicated. Right, as you can see, oh, that would be the fuzz they're talking about. Okay, I'll have to go in and fix that on my telly, which I'm not going to do right now because I can't be asked. Interesting. Because I had a look on a few other games, and um, it didn't seem to do it. But as I said, it's something that's fixable. It's not like a fault with the unit. It's to do with, you know, obviously, modern TVs, right? Deep Strike, I remember you. Obviously, some of these will be 48K. Look, there are fucking loads of them, I know. Kid Night Law, ooh, right. There we go. Sweet, quite surprised that Ultimate Games are on it. That's got the same issue at the top of the screen. Right, I thought Ultimate were kind of a little bit guarded about giving out their stuff. There we go. I remember you. Rotate. And up. Oh my god, it's the original Survivor Horror game. Check it out, those who've never played this. See that? Oh, bollocks. Right, as I said, this is just an initial go. Can't see where I'm going to check it works, but I'm going to have to find my TV manual now to, to fix that, but it is odd playing a Spectrum game on a D-pad with fleshy fire buttons. Oh, bollocks. I'm turning into a wolf, turning into a wolf. Right. Right, where's my new? Let's try something else. Right. Maybe we should just try pushing and scouting a little bit harder. That's what she said. Right, like I said, something for the next time I play. I've literally just gone into it, so this is just me, you know, ironing out the creases, but... Oh, I remember you, Finders Keepers. The original uh, game in the Magic Knight series. Oh, games that only cost two pounds. They were life changers back in the day. Right, A, B, C. Right, that's how we do it. Control. There's a virtual keyboard, so you can um, obviously play adventure games. I'd imagine that might get a bit annoying. C, G, 
keyboard controls right okay a, a, a b there we go right are you i don't know what it's done there i really should have read the instructions shouldn't i but right, let's have a look through more the roll of honor is the people who originally um donated to it through its uh indiegogo so they it's thanks them all in this which i think is a really nice little touch right game over i remember game over didn't I get in trouble because uh, they have to change the cover because basically you could see bits of nip. Seriously, look it up. Right. Here we go. Nice. It is very, very authentic. It would appear that it depending upon the colour, that's what affects my HDTV, but as I said, that's not the unit's fault. An autofile would have been nice. Oh, bollocks. Right, so look at another one. I wish it would stay on the game you selected. I'm not sure how I do SD card, but like I said, just having a quick ball break. He <laughs> he, go for it right now. Night law, uh, league football, um, pause. Like I said, again, not really a problem, but there are a lot of games I don't remember. Technocop, I remember you. The Abbey of Death, Ultimate Warrior. How ultimate can it be if it's on the spectrum? Oh, Vixen, that was another game got in trouble, wasn't it? For having a bird on the cover. It was a real model, I think. There you go. A very badly digitised version of a... I don't have no idea what any of that means. Whippy whippy. It is a bit kinky, really, when you think about it. There's nothing... Kids these days just don't appreciate that, you know, the simple joys of having to use up in a game to jump because you only usually had one button. Right, let's go on to another one. Where's Saber Wolf? See, like I said, that is kind of annoying. Right. Did I see a day in the life? No. One day cricket. Oh, one day. Let's have a go on one day cricket. 180. I remember you, you were a darts game. Oh, fuck that. You got used to a virtual keyboard. One day cricket. Right. Come on. Shame there's no search option. Hardly it's oh set on. Hardly it's fault really. Be the one to eight K version. With funky music. Listen to that. Ooh! Oh no, have I got to be on the... You, you, see, this isn't a review of any game during but you've got to be on the floor to shoot the ones on the floor and then in space... Space? Well, not really, to shoot the ones in space. Ooh. I mean, it looks terrible when you think about the 16-bit versions, but then considering the fact that they managed to pull this off on the specy, it's epic beans. Right, one more game and then I'm going to round up. Anyway, there's no point in me trying to find out how to put an SD card in because I haven't got an SD card inserted. Right. Shoulder in the forest, we'll break it too. Wasn't this a Lucas art game? Or a Lucas, oh, whatever his original company was. It's odd still <clears throat> find yourself mashing away on keys when you've only got four to start the game. No, it's something entirely different. Oh, is it like, oh my God, it's Arkanoid but in 3D. Oh, fuck. That's quite a unique idea. Oh, bollocks. I guess my ball's dropped. Underwhelming. I'm just going to stay here then. How about if I give it some slice? Ha! <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm going to call it quits there and round up the video. So anyway, as I said, people don't take or read too much into this as a reflection of the quality of the product because this is literally, or well, that literally was um, the first time I attempted um, to play it. Uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to navigate through the menus, but that's probably because I'm a lazy bastard and never ever um, read the instructions. So clearly my fault, not its fault. Uh, first criticism I would like to address when people say, like, is it worth £100? Um, to me, yes. I mean, I might be biased because I, I absolutely adore ZX Spectrum, think it was the greatest games machine ever. But yeah, to me, this is just, you know, right, you could use an emulator, but it does it just plays nice like this. But for first simplicity, you know, the fact that you've got SD card slot, you know, yeah, you could buy Spectrum for 100 quid, but do you really want to have to load games by data anymore? Or, oh, yes, I know you could convert the Spectrum to run on an SD card, but that's a lot of work. 
I think this is brilliant value for 100 quid, but you've also got to bear in mind that it was something that was started with crowdfunding. So, you know, is it going to be made uh, in such a way that they could keep the price lower than that if it was like a full, 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 full big company? I don't know, you know, but yeah. Um, one thing I would like to say is the lead is super, super, super long. The, um, you know, it's, uh, the um, composite lead, which is, you know, something I was going to be a little bit worried about because, you know, I want to sit, lay back and play it in an armchair. I did find it in the manual. Uh, some, no, that's, some USB TV sockets will not supply enough power for the Vega. So then why don't you just tell people to plug it straight into a socket? Again, not its fault. Um, switching between UK and US compatibility, that's right, it does come with NTSC. Uh, here it is. Adjusting your television settings. Some modern TVs digitally filter and process the TV picture to improve sharpness and quality. Again, I maybe should have just checked that all my things were plugged into the SCART socket properly, but yeah. The only downside to that is I'm going to have to find my manual now for my TV to play around with the settings, but yeah, I got to say, especially for, like a, for the fact it only took five days to come, I'm really, really quite impressed with this. Possibly expect a video to update uh, on it when I'm fully, fully sort of comfortable with it, because like I said, that was just the first time I, uh, I played it. But yeah, first, uh, first observations. Epic beans. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.